I don't think I really need to go into details here, but the world is obviously currently finding itself in a challenging place. And as people are losing their jobs and small businesses are struggling, we brainstorm ways where yes theory and seek discomfort could potentially help. So, a few weeks ago, we started by launching Living Rooms Got Talent, our talent show where we ended up donating $35,000 to food banks around the world and $35,000 to some incredibly talented people in our community. And with our clothing line Seek Discomfort in the month of April alone, with the support of our community, we were able to donate over 6,500 medical masks and over 250,000 meals through Feeding America. Now, as a startup, we thought back at our highly uncertain days when we had just started building Yes Theory and asked ourselves, would we have survived this pandemic as a business if it had hit when we were just starting? And our answer was most likely not. So we had an idea. At the end of one of our recent videos, we asked our community's small business and startup founders to send us a video telling us about the challenges that they were facing as a business and how they see us potentially helping. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello, Yes Theory. I'm Tasha Wicks. I'm Josh, and this is Harry. My name is Jeremy, and I come from Paris. Houston, Texas. Kenya. India. I'm Egyptian. I'm from Brazil. I am a freelance fitness instructor in Bangkok. We are the founders of Womaze. I started a not-for-profit organization. Our app, within the past two weeks, has about 400,000 users. And a year and a half ago, I just took a big leap of faith and opened my first restaurant. What I didn't expect from the business was for it to really become a gathering place for kids that don't really have any other place to go. I partnered up with my mom a couple months ago. We've been working really, really, really hard to get this thing done. It was incredible to see all the impactful businesses you guys have started and grown. We really wish we could have helped all of them. But given how complicated many of these problems are, we realized that we'd only be able to meaningfully help one of them. And here's the application that stood out to us. We're Mads and Taylor from Burning Boat. Two years ago, we quit our jobs and started a production company in Copenhagen. We create promotional videos and commercials for other small businesses like restaurants, gyms, and events. This February, we invested everything we had into making our new office space perfect to host our new clients and their projects. Like most small businesses, we've been hit exceptionally hard by the quarantine situation. We lost all our clients practically overnight. We're now living in a state of extreme uncertainty, and with a little one at home, it's definitely scary times right now. So we decided to use the situation as an opportunity to get back to our real purpose. We decided to reopen a documentary project about my younger brother, who goes from literally being unable to leave the house to making the choice to jump out of an airplane. Yes Theory can help by joining on as a producer and by inviting the community you've built to help us make this documentary about more than just my brother's story. It's a story about all of us. We ask for animators, painters, drawers, dancers, singers, athletes, filmmakers, composers, musicians, basically everyone and anyone willing to contribute their experience of living with or overcoming anxiety and or depression. By collecting a montage of expression from around the world, the documentary will have context and ultimately show others that they are not alone. Yeah. 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 We immediately got excited and our challenge of saving a small business 5,590 miles away in a week's time had now begun. This is great. Oh, we can go so far. Oh. So to, to be specific, they're asking for footage from people to document their experience living with anxiety in different forms. For what they're asking for, there's not really anybody else that can help them better. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! So this is their Instagram. Should we send them a yeah? We'll send them a video. Mads Taylor. Woo! This is Yes Theory here. We loved your submission. And we want to get in touch. We want to talk to you. <laughs> yes. yes! Yo, how's it going? Guys, we're excited. We've been so nervous all day. <laughs> <laughs> it would be good to start with your situation. Two years ago, we kind of dropped everything we were doing and we just decided that we wanted to start our own production company. There's some people you know you meet and you just click so well with immediately. So it's never happened to me. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> it's scary sometimes. 
kind of like the situation we're in right now. Uh, we put everything we have into this. Our passion is to make films, to make documentaries, to make feature films, but it's not the thing that really pays the bills at all. So what we do on the side, or pretty much what we do is we make commercials. And our entire clientele is the people who are the hardest hit. And I have a, like a family at home, and it started to get a little uh, difficult to keep uh, living off of basically the bare minimum, being able to only give ourselves just enough to get by. So we're basically in negative money right now. Yeah. Our goal was just to brainstorm with you guys. Let's figure out how we can support, and we loved the, the documentary idea. So this documentary was shot three years ago, pretty much to the day. My brother has and still does suffer quite severely from anxiety and depression. Just the thought of getting him to go outside was this huge challenge for him. But the goal was always to make it about more than just his story. I think what you guys want to do with this documentary is very timely to what's happening in the world right now. And I think it's a much needed story that, that we'd love to get behind, but obviously also figure out how can we do something right now that can support your business. We have a Seek Discomfort drop coming up. It'd be amazing to hire you guys to make I seek discomfort commercial. That is very exciting. We want you to treat us like a regular client. Let us know exactly how much how much that would cost and and what you guys need need from us, and we will make it happen. My my first question, I'm like, we don't have any of your clothing. Is that a problem? The clothing is a way to embody the message, but the message is the most important part. Like we're not necessarily trying to sell clothing, we're trying to sell the philosophy of seeking discomfort. So if we can get you the clothes, that would be an amazing bonus, obviously. But the most important thing is just, what's a one to two minute video um, that captures the message of seeking discomfort uh, in your perspective? Obviously, we'd love to be bouncing boards as well. I think the best would probably be if we just did it and then Hell yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah, so the drop is coming out in on the 26th. Mm -hmm. On the 26th. <laughs> in 11 days. Guys, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, you guys. don't know how much this means. Bam, bam! <laughs> All right. Talk soon, guys. Right. See you guys later. Peace. That was wow. so sick. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I know. Also, he's a dad like he knows what it, what it means to seek discomfort more than any of us yeah i mean yeah. you have kids you have i have like four kids <laughs> what oh my god oh, i'm sweating let's make this the craziest thing we've ever done cancel your schedule oh god hello okay <laughs> also do you have any ideas yeah We're thinking of something to do with birth. <laughs> Discomfort is pretty much the first thing you feel. We've got a script. Sounds pretty good. We want to get a voiceover, animation. I think it'd be cool to have an original song. We're definitely not playing it safe. All right, let's do it. We finished the first shot. Tomato juice in water. Swirling it up. Looks pretty good. Hello, nice to see you. See you. Here we go. Action. Write some music for it. Voiceovers here. That is reality. It's definitely missing the mark. We seek discomfort. As Maz and Taylor are making a commercial for the Seek Discomfort drop, we're doing the photo shoot here. So Mads and Taylor are actually not going to send us uh, even the concept uh, for their commercial and we're only going to get it on the 25th. 24 hours before the drop. And we're paying <laughs> Moolah for it. Uh, yeah, it's a good amount of money too. So we're basically paying for a surprise that could go any any direction. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I 
think we've realized might be an opportunity to involve other creators as well. Somebody helps us and because of that, we're now able to help other peoples in a way. I mean, we've hired a voiceover artist. We've hired a composer. I don't know, it feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. I think it's gonna be cool. The ice fan himself. Small world. Small world, yeah. yeah. I feel like maybe we could get goosebumps here instead. Ice, ice baby. Bad, not bad. That's good, right? Going a little high. Back to the tree. How long do we have left to edit? About 24 hours left. Be a long night tonight. Three, two, two one. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. They must be freaking out. I'm the, I'm nervous. We paid for something that we haven't we don't know and we haven't seen. And we've trusted these guys off a couple of FaceTimes. So there was a moment in there when they were talking on the first call where I could like fully see us in in the moment that they're living in. And when there's that much uncertainty on the line. I mean we didn't have kids, we were just 21, 22, 23. Like he has a kid. That's such yeah. a whole other it's amazing that this is happening and we're you know I, know. I can just feel Thomas's anxiety right now. <laughs> yeah. I swear. Alright, let's do this. Simply trying to survive. As we grow, the allure of conforming is all around us. Wear what others wear, think what others think. Seek a job that is secure. Measure yourself against the rest of the pack. Your future self coming back to beat the out of you. They're not coming back to see what you're doing. So they're coming back to beat the out of you because you didn't follow your dreams. There is no comfort without discomfort, no greatness without doubt, success without failure, warm without cold, a friend without stranger. Seek pain. Seek doubt. Seek failure. Seek worry. Seek struggle. Seek fear. We seek discomfort so that ultimately we may one day be free. So we were asked, what does seek discomfort mean to you? Let's watch it again. This is so good. It's, it's so good. Seek fear. Wow. Woo. It's oh even better God. watching it. Yeah, again. it is. I appreciate the creativity because it's not something I personally would have ever been able to make. Like it's exciting that we, we got a commercial that we could never have made on our own. Like there's no amount of brainstorming or 
like time spent thinking about this, but we would have ended up with this product. Yeah. Let's call them. <laughs> they must be. They must be freaking out right now. Let's Holy wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Something you made, you put it out there. Does it ever get easier to like be just chill about it? Yeah, we're cool. I'm the cool guy. Anything but cool. <laughs> 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 oh, we can hear you guys. Thank you. <laughs> You guys like it? Great freaking job, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a relief. We had to watch it like five times just because it was, there was... I'm glad you guys did. Oh. When we realized, wait, did they shoot that themselves? You know, this is not stock footage. <laughs> you had that kind of like aura of like, just do something different, you know? I think it was really just about going for the emotion, that feeling of, you know, that moment of like, it, I'm just gonna do it. And that's the whole point. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I <baby. laughs> The whole story began with the video that you made about your brother. And the second we finished watching this, we were like, well, there's no more question in our minds that we need to help them with the documentary. So from the funds of the sales of this drop, we're gonna put away $5,000 for you guys to be able to, uh, to work on the documentary. Wow. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> and obviously all the support that you need from filmmakers and just people within the community. So, you know, making sure that the, the call out that you wanted to put out for people will be a part of this video. So many ideas for ways we can, you know, help with the distribution, whether it's on, you know, we have plans for launching Yesterday Plus, which is gonna be a second channel or helping you guys take it to market to any of, if you guys wanted to take it to Netflix or Amazon or definitely all things that we can we can help with and support. Amazing. Guys, okay. thank you so much. It means so much because as much as we like making stuff like what we just sent you, the real dream is to be able to work on something that's longer and that we can really get people to go along for a, a ride that's more than just two minutes of like explosive action. And so being able to work on something that's actually really meaningful is, is that's the dream. That's the dream for us, dude. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> Amazing guys. Thank you so much. Cheers, fellas. Amazing. For a week, all of this happened. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to know more information about how to be a part of the documentary, we'll be making a story on Instagram in the next couple of days to explain the details. But for now, go to seekdiscomfort.com, check out April's collection. It's been amazing to be able to give back through Seek Discomfort. Over a quarter million meals donated. Really? Yeah. Over a quarter million yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. Off the That's freaking insane. Again, you guys purchasing from Seek Discomfort helps us out, but it also helps other creators and initiatives that we're trying to start. So thank you again so much for supporting us. It means the world to us. We freaking love you guys, and we will see you next Sunday. SeekDiscomfort.com. <laughs>